In this video, we're going to be talking about my 10 favorite DV5 features 2025. Let's dive in by talking about the first one, which is Flexbox. Now, check this out. If I add two modules, I mean, this can be any modules. So in this case, I'm just going to add two and I would like them side by side. Guess what? All I need to do is to come over here and then make sure I go to elements, choose my column and then go into design because this is where we get to uh, select our Flexbox. So I go to layout and right now by default, it's column. And if I not want them side by side, all I have to do is to change my direction. And just like that, now I have two items side by side. This is brilliant because if I need to change how things look on different um, screens, I can just come over here to tablet. If I'm happy with this, I'll then move on to my phone and I can see things are a bit too tight here. And this is where I can just go in and change my direction. And just by doing that, things are now looking much better in different screen sizes. Now, in this example, I did text and text, but it could be images, it could be pretty much anything. Now, let's move on to the next item. And this feature I really, really love because it has allowed us to uh, position things side by side. Now, one of the things that was very difficult to do was the buttons. Trying to put buttons side by side in Divi, psh, big problem, but check this out. This feature here is called a group feature, group uh, module. If I click on this plus button and select my group, in fact, let's do this on uh, in a brand new item because I don't want them in a, in this uh, Flexbox uh, situation. So I'm gonna go back in and let's add, let's say a text module like that. And then let's say I want a button below this, but I want them side by side. This is where I can go in, click on this plus button and choose my group module. Now this group module is very powerful because it, al it allows me to then have things in a group and then also control them. So in this case, we want to add two buttons. Okay, so that's button one. I'm gonna go in here, duplicate this. Now it's two buttons. Now, if I if I click on X-ray, you can actually see that this is in its own group. Okay, these two buttons are in their own group. So if I select the group now, I can go into design, layout, and then flexbox. I can do that side by side. So the group has allowed us to put things together and then position them using Flexbox. So now with that, I can do so many things. I can have this space between, so the buttons are on two extreme sides. I can have all of them on one side to the right. I can have them centered. And of course, this is, you know, the, the way, the, the layout that I was looking for. So the grouped module is very, very powerful. And I really, really like that. Next, let's talk about the slider. Now, this, the carousel slider is also fantastic. And to add it, all I have to do is to go to carousel. And in here, with my carousel selected, I can um, add all my content inside. So let's say I want to add some text. I can add a button in here as well. Click here on this plus button, add my button. Now, within this, I can also add my image. So I'm just gonna go back to my slider here, go to the background, and then I can just add an image. And my image here can be that one, upload image. And now my slider has an image. So what else can we do here? Well, we can do a lot. We can set our size, our default height. So I can go to design, sizing, and then for my height here, I can set it to 600 hit enter and now I have my height. I can also do fancy things here like for example, I can go in and add a bit of padding because everything here is way too close to the edge. So I can go to let's say spacing here and I'm gonna go with uh, three, three rem. That's for my top and bottom and then I'm also going to do three rem for my left and right just like that. Now, while I have that selected as well, I can go to my layout and decide where I want to have things. I can have this right at the bottom here. And, you know, so it's very, very flexible. Now my text is in the center here. It's very, very easy to use. And if I need to add more sliders to this, all I need to do is uh, making sure I have group selected. Usually I come over here to the layers. And by the way, this is also another feature that I like. So on the layers here, I can go to my carousel and duplicate it a few times. So if I say duplicate group, I can go in, uh, say this first one here, go to my content, and this is where I would change my background. Now, I know I'm moving too fast, but this is just to show you how easy it is to set all this up 
really, really fast. So now you may be thinking, well, is this really working? Well, the answer to that is yes, it is working. Let's do a quick preview here and see what is happening. So now when I slide through this, you can see I have my slider. Now there's a video I did, a tutorial, where I show you how Tesla did their website where it, ha it was a full width slider. The link to that will be in the video description below, or you can just go to my channel, Sidecrafter, and you'll see that tutorial. Fantastic. Anyway, before I continue, I'd like to remind you that I have a course which is definitely beneficial if you're someone that uses Divi because this is called Divi 5 Mastery. This course covers pretty much everything that you need to know about Divi. As you know, Divi 4 and Divi 5 are totally different. So this is a brand new learning curve. It's a brand new design workflow. And I cover all these things in the Divi 5 Mastery course. So you may be thinking, well, how much is the course? It's only $27. Now, the reason why I've made it $27 is because I want as many of you to access this course. Look at this. There's already 781 who are engaging in this course. So this is going to save you so much time going on YouTube, finding out how this feature works or that feature works. And the really cool thing is this course will have lessons added to it. It's going to be added at no extra charge. So I'm not going to charge you any extra for adding extra lessons to this. So go ahead, link to that. It will be in the video description below. After a few weeks, I'm going to bump up the price to $97 because this course is going to have a lot of downloadables, a lot of presets and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's continue on. So my next feature now, now this is the, the slider. The next feature is the carousel. Now the carousel is also very, very powerful. Now let's use the carousel while we have this here selected. If I right click here and go to inspect, you're going to notice that, did I say carousel? No, inspector. We want to talk about the inspector, right? So we have our inspector here. This is the icon. So let's get rid of uh, the layers first. So the inspector is very important because it saves us from going all, all the way up here and then making all our changes here. So all, I, all you need to do is to, let's disable this one more time. You want to go to whatever item you want to uh, um, inspect. So for example, let's say I want to inspect this text. I right click, inspect. And then I can just come over here and you can see my line height is there. Um, I can change my body text size to 1.2, hit enter. And now my size, in fact, I'm on the wrong slider here. On the content here, I can go into the text, uh, make changes to all this text here if I need to. So as you can see, it has updated there. So anything that I change here will be found in the inspector. And that's what makes it easy for us to go in and customize. So why don't we do that quickly? I'm going to go into my text module here. Let's go into our design and we're going to go into our text and change the color. So the text color here, we're going to change it to that. And you know what? Let's change the size to 1.2, make it slightly bigger. And then we're also going to what? We're also going to center it. So I'm going to scroll down here, alignment, center. Okay, so let's save this. So if I now come over here to my styles, you're going to notice that we have our text color here. So if I want to quickly go in and make changes to this, I don't have to go into um, all these panels here. All I have to do is to right click and then go into inspect. And then here we have our colors. So I've got my quick access here. I can quickly change my color here and you can see it's updating in real time, right? If I come over here to numbers, I can change my size. So this is 1.2, uh, I can go to 2.3, hit enter, and you can see the size has increased. I can also go to my content here if I need to change my content. Now notice that everything that I'm doing here is all happening in the inspector, not over here. And this inspector can inspect pretty much anything. So it's very, very powerful. Let's say I uh, click on this module settings. You're going to notice also that the inspector also uh, shows up. We have our button here. Can you see that? I can now say download here. Now, do you notice that I didn't go to the button itself to uh, make changes to it, but I'm, I'm making changes to it real time. So this is fantastic. So it will, I mean, it will give me access to pretty much everything I need to do in real time and make and help me update everything. So this is where you activate it and deactivate it. Okay. The next uh, feature that I really, really like is the variables. Now, the vari variables are very powerful because uh, you can set all your fonts, your colors, your text sizes, and so on. So, for example, with the fonts, I can come over here. Okay. Uh, let me expand this so you can see what is happening. I can change my headings by 
let's say selecting pop-ins so that becomes my heading save apply this has been applied across the whole website by the way this is super powerful in cases where let's say you're designing your your freelancer your design agency the client says hey you know what we want to rebrand change our font uh, our heading fonts change our body fonts this is where you'd come in make a change it's a sweeping change the whole website gets updated same thing applies with the colors. Once you set your colors, you can also come here and set your colors. So uh, let's say this is my a button color, or we can call it button light, okay? So this could be my color for my buttons. I can go in here, choose my color, and let's say the color is going to be this gray right here, okay? So as I'm designing now, it is, it is super powerful because it's, it's going to follow me wherever I go. Okay, let me show you how. So let's say I, let's get rid of this now. We don't need the slider anymore. We are going to go in and add some text like that. And now let's say we want to change the color. I can just click here, go to design text, and then I'm going to say text color. You're going to notice that we have our button light, okay? I know I called it button light, but you can name it whatever you want, but it's followed me. Look at that. I can just select it and it updates. If I need to make a sweeping change, I can come over here, go to my colors, and remember that color that I selected? I can go in here, okay? Make a change, save, and in real time, wherever I've applied that color, it has updated. Do you see that? It is brilliant. So variables are very powerful. We can also do this with the numbers. And here we, we've added our body text. I've set it to one rem. So it is very, very easy to set up. And these variables are a new thing. We didn't have this in Divi 4. And this is a huge change to our design workflow. Okay, so now that we uh, covered the colors with the variables, the next feature I really like is the presets. The presets are very powerful because if you come in here and set your text, so for example, I'm going to go in here, customize my text. I'm going to make a few changes to it. So let's say I'm going to set this to uh, 1.5 rem, for example. Uh, in fact, you know what? This is my line height. I need to change the text size. 1.5, hit enter. You can see it's nice and big. I'm going to change my line height here like that. And let's just say this is the text I need to use uh, in certain parts of my design. Well, I can set it over here on the presets by coming over here. And then I'm going to say new preset from current styles. And then I'm going to say new style. I could have named it better, but you know what? <laughs> what can I do? Okay. So I want to save the preset and I can delete this. So whenever I'm designing, let's say I add my text like that. I can go to my presets here and say new style, bang. And now it's got everything that I've set it to and it's going to be consistent across the whole website. If I need to update this or make changes to this, all I need to do is to come over here, go to that new style, click on this little gear icon, and then I can make some changes and then save the preset again. Pretty cool. So presets are very, very powerful. Next, let's talk about pretty much my favorite my favorite, which is nested modules. Okay, so with nested modules, you can start off with, uh, let's say, text module. I know I'm using text so much, okay? But next, instead of just adding the module the normal way by coming over here, no, we don't want to do that, okay? Making sure this is selected, you can now go to elements and then add element. Now, this is where we can add our by counters, okay? And if you want to add something else here, we can add another element, and this can be a button. Now, I know you're saying, well, isn't that the same way as uh, adding all our elements? Well, that, that, that's different, okay? Because I'll prove to you that this is different. If I select this module here, you can see it's a text module, but notice what happens. I can go to background here and add a background color. And notice that the color has been applied to everything, right? It's different. Now, I know I, I know you probably don't believe me. Okay, so I want to come over here and I want to add my elements the normal way. So let's say this is my bar counters. And then after this, I'm going to add my button. Uh, Where's my button module? Let's see. Ah, oh, can't find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so if I were to do the same thing and add the gray color, if I come over here to my text, Go to background. Notice that the gray only applies to the text module. Do you see that? Whereas over here, when I go here, the color applies to all the items in here. Do you see that? 
that is how the grouped module works. And what I can also do here is uh, I can further customize this by going into design, spacing, and then I can add a bit of padding. Let's say I'm adding two RAM here. So you can really see that everything is working in a group. Okay, two RAM as well. And then I'm gonna apply it both to the left and the right. And there we go. So if I remove the X-ray, now you can see that we have built a module by grouping them together or nesting them together. This is fantastic. Okay, so let's move on to the next item. And the next feature is uh, the group. Okay, the group is very powerful as well. So the reason why I like the group is, let's say I start off with a group here. I can have different modules in the actual group. So let's start off with a text. And then in this group here, I'm gonna click here, add a button. And why don't we add an image? Okay, and I can, you know, drag them and uh, place them wherever I want. So now I have this in a group. If I change this, let's say I want a single column. Oops, okay. If I want to uh, duplicate this, I can drag my group here. And you can see that all the modules that I, uh, I put together, they're all in a group. So with this group now, I can do a lot of fancy items. And then this takes me to the next feature, which I really like, which is the loop. So here I am going to select the group. In fact, let's get rid of this group here, okay? I'm gonna select the group and then I'm gonna come over here to loop and then activate loop. Now you're going to notice that it has opened up three items here, okay? That is because these groups are based on the posts and I have three blog posts. So let's go in and add one equal column here. I think it works better and you can actually see how the group works. So if I select the group here and drag it over here on the bottom, you can see that it takes that whole space. So let's get rid of this one. Okay, so again, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna activate our loop by clicking here and you can see here it's pulling from our posts. Now I can go into this image and go to my image over here, click on this gear icon and then I'm gonna say featured image. Okay, so by just doing that, my image now has been added. And if you notice at the bottom here, these images are coming from my blog post, but we're not done yet. We're gonna come over here to our text and we're gonna make, also make sure that this text here is also our accept. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here and say loop accept. Okay, we're probably going to need another text module and this is going to be uh, our heading, okay? So let's put this text here and we're also going to need another one and let's select the heading here and let's just rearrange them like that. So I'm gonna select my heading here, hover over here and then I'm gonna set this as my loop post title. I mean, look at that, post three selected and this one here, I can select this and then I can say, okay, I want this to be the date. Okay, so loop publish date, boom. Just like that, I was able to go in and set up all my loop that is pulling my blog post. So with that now, I can come over here, go to my elements, and I can go to my column and see if we can use Flexbox. I'm gonna come over here to layout and I'm gonna change the direction. Look at that. How cool is that? So now we have post one, post two, and post three. Isn't that cool? Uh, if I want, I can change the direction. So we start with post one, post two, post three. Pretty cool. All this now can be done using Divi. I mean, this is really powerful. And uh, if you haven't bought Divi yet, I would highly recommend you do this. This is just touching my favorite features, but there's a lot that we can do now with Divi. If you haven't purchased it, the link to that will be in the video description below. And also, if you haven't purchased uh, the course, the course is right here on diviuniversity.com forward slash courses. It's only $27. Go ahead and purchase it. You won't need to pay any extra. if you if i add new uh, modules or if i add new lessons or even templates okay it's going to be absolutely free so this is the time to get it 27 dollars, and hurry now before the price changes until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you again in the next one take care